Welcome back to another edition of Combat Corner, part of the Come On Now, the podcast network. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomot, and I'm here to talk a little gimmick fight tonight between Jake Paul and Mike Perry. But before we jump in, thank you for your support and continued support of this channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, ring that bell, and share these videos with your friends as you keep growing our channel. Over 2,200 subscribers. We're pushing, pushing, pushing to get this thing to 2,300 today if you can. We'd love it. Certainly, with my my goal at the end of the year will be at 5,000. That's my goal. That would be a, an amazing accomplishment. I'd be so proud of that. My team would be so proud of that because we're just building it organically. But let's jump right in. Mike Perry versus Jake Paul. This was supposed to be the fight between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson which we knew was never going to happen. The gimmick of gimmicks. I like Jake Paul. I think Jake Paul takes boxing seriously. He's been training hard for a number of years now, and I think he's actually pretty decent. Is he great? No. But I think he's he's a boxer. This stuff where we 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 we, we pe- keep people in boxes and say, oh, well, you're a YouTuber or you're a Disney kid or whatever. There's parts of people's lives. So is Tony Robo a football player or is he a commentator? Is I mean, this is these are the things that people graduate from one section of life to another. And he chose to do to box. And he trains really hard. And you can see it. And many people have said it. But I'm tired of the gimmick fight. It exhausts me. I think they're corny. That said, this fight actually is intriguing. Because Mike Perry is going to fight. Mike Perry is now the biggest star of BKFC. And he comes to throw down. He has years of experience in, in the UFC. He moved over to BKFC where he can just throw hands, not worry about being taken down. And he puts on a show. He performs. He's exciting. He's fun. He's entertaining. He talks a lot of garbage, says some funny, quirky stuff that makes you laugh. But overall, I think Mike Perry is respectful. I think he's a respectful guy when he's promoting fights, even though they're funny and quirky and there's a lot of shit talking. And I also think Jake Paul does a great job of promoting his fights as well. I think Jake Paul does a really good, really good job. And I do think he's respectful as well in his promotion approach. Yes, he talks his shit too, which you're, these are the things that you're supposed to do. This is probably outside of the, the Tommy Fury fight with Jake Paul, which was much, much more, much a snoozer, to be honest. Jake Paul is fighting another MMA, former MMA fighter who every MMA fighter is picking to win again. It's like they haven't learned. They haven't learned that Jake Paul's actually pretty good. They haven't learned that boxing is actually a skill. They haven't learned that he's training hard. They've ignored all these facts. This is a fight that comes down to one thing. Boxing versus Rock'em Sock'em Robot. Mike Perry has a great gas tank. But landing punches with this is not the same as landing punches with a big old glove on your hand. You're going to land it, but it's not going to land with the same thud and force. And they all won't get through the way your hand can get through and sneak through pockets. But I'm overall tired of the gimmick fight. I, 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 they're, they're just, en- it's enough already. And this is where I do get into the thing with Jake Paul. If Jake Paul wants to be a boxer, truly wants to be a boxer, I'd like to see Jake Paul fight boxers at his level and graduate up the, the, the system, through the system. People, this is where people on the outside are just jealous haters of Jake Paul saying, well, he's making all this money doing whatever. And he's, I, I want to see him fight a real fighter. Well, he's, he's a 10, he's got 10 fights. You think he's going to fight Canelo? 
You think he's going to fight a world champion in boxing? No, he's going to fight MMA fighters who think they're boxers, but they're not really boxers. But they think they're boxers, and they probably trained in boxing longer than Jake Paul has. Yet Jake Paul has a big right hand, and he's putting people out with it. He's dropped Anderson Silva. He knocked out Tyron Woodley. He beat Nate Diaz. Like, he's done this. <clears throat> he's done this. He's doing it. He has knocked out a couple of actual boxers, boxers who are on that level, who have puffed up, puffed up records because they beat a bunch of journeyman bums. That's how boxing works. You don't just jump in and say, oh, I'm going to go fight the champion like Francis Ngannou did. And yeah, he did really, really well versus Tyson Fury because Tyson Fury did not take him seriously for a second. Looked like he didn't see a gym until he stepped into the ring. But you saw what happened when someone took him seriously. He got knocked out cold by Anthony Joshua in the next fight in two rounds. His head was knocked off. No one will not take him seriously again. No boxer will not take him seriously. And that's why Francis Ngannou will never win a fight in boxing. But he'll make a boatload of money for this gimmick sucker fights that get us to watch. Conned us all. We watched Fury. Oh, my God. He performed well. He drops Fury. Oh, my God. Yeah, he did. Credit to him. Credit to him. You saw how Tyson Fury looked when he fought. When he prepared, even though he took the loss versus Alexander Usyk, I thought he won the fight. But you saw how he looked when he prepared. If that was how he prepared for Francis Ngannou and they fought again, I think he finishes Ngannou in two rounds. But overall, these gimmick fights, they're tired enough already. Yeah, they bring eyes to boxing, but they're not boxing. They're not real boxing. <clears throat> they're not boxers who have worked their lives up lives to become to become champions all that said this is fun jake paul versus mike perry is fun two guys who talk they're gonna throw down mike perry's gonna come out throwing hands pushing pace pushing pressure jake paul's gonna have to jab and actually box he doesn't want to get into a firefight with mike perry and i don't think he will i think he'll keep him at bay with his jab i think jake paul's pretty decent for what he's done and i think jake paul's gonna win I think he's going to win by decision, but I think he's going to win. But I'd like to not see any of these damn Kimmick fights. If Jake Paul wants to box, start boxing people. Box the boxers at, at the level that you are. <clears throat> Enough of this crap. This Mike Tyson thing was a joke. He would have killed Mike Tyson. He would have killed Mike Tyson. Is Mike Tyson going to fight him when he's 60? He killed Mike Tyson. Like, we have to stop this dream that you're in the 1990s and 1980s. Mike Tyson is an old man. And all those spliced up videos that make you think he's so fast, it's not that fast anymore, man. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, do I wish at 58 that I look like him and I'm in shape like him? Absolutely. But he's fighting a 20, fighting a guy who's 30 years younger than him? Like, come on, man. Come on, man. This is, this is nonsense. A couple other fights that to look at. Amanda Serrano's fighting. She's a real boxer, female boxer fighting Stevie Morgan. Um, Amanda Serrano's a good boxer. One thing that Jake Paul has done is he has put the limelight on Amanda Serrano a great deal and made her very, very important in the, in, in the landscape of women's boxing. So for that, I give him tons and tons of credit. He has helped her so much, and people don't realize how much he's helped her. He has helped her a great deal. But here's another fight that you might notice. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. versus Uriah Hall. Oh my God! He, like this, this is Uriah Hall, former MMA fighter, and he's fighting now Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., a former actual boxing champion who's turned into a bum. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. is embarrassing. He's embarrassing because he was a great fighter at one point until he just totally wasn't. The man never is never in shape. He never comes prepared. <clears throat> this is a six round fight. <clears throat> it wouldn't shock me if Uriah Hall beat him just the way Anderson Silva beat him. It wouldn't shock me at all. It wouldn't, it wouldn't shock me if he put him out. 
But this is the problem. These gimmick fights, like, they, like I, I don't know who would pay for this. I don't know who would pay for this. I just don't know what, why anyone would pay for this. This should be given away for free. It's funny how the thing on um with Mike Tyson was me free on Netflix, but now this is a pay per view on the zone. Like, come on, man. we're not stupid. We already we always knew what it was going to be. We knew this would switch. We knew this would be a switch. But yeah, man. I mean, Mike Perry, Jake Paul. Who do you got? What do you think? Leave a note, leave a message in the comments. I do think Jake Paul wins this via decision. Um, if you're interested in watching it, it's on the zone at nine o'clock pay per view. But uh. That's all I got for Come On Now, the podcast, Combat Corner, for this week. Drop a like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Come on now.